This video shows how you get your uh, emulation on your uh, Android SDK. So this is a uh, we have here an Android uh, system. Uh, we have here an AMD system. So let's start in this way. Now when we are here, you see this is my AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 1800X 8 core processor um, and with a 64 system bit system on your uh, as Windows 10 and first of all you will always find uh, the message on when you start your with your Android uh, system that uh, you have no Hexam um, Intel processor on there so I think you know all about those about all those uh, that stuff so your CPU does not support required features and so on and now what you have to do first to solve all that point is you have to uh, go there into the system and first step and you have to activate Hyper-V and to activate it on both positions so you first go there you go here to the features features here Windows features and then you have to activate both positions that's important Hyper-V on both positions and here the hypervisor platform to, you have to activate both don't forget that you need both and then um, then I have seen some different uh, videos where they tried to in install the Hexam uh, I did the same, but this this didn't work. So this always failed in uh, when you try to uh, install the um, the hyper uh, the an Intel program onto a AMD processor. So whatever you do, it doesn't work. So this is always it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't. So unable to install Hexam uh, Hexam emulator. And I tried it with this different uh, ways and all when I, whenever I tried to install it, it said your CPU does not support required features but when you have enabled uh, the system now back on my uh, Android development system I did the following I went to the settings and inside the settings here I disabled the uh, Intel emulator Hexam installer and when I deinstalled it then I got a new one which was here Android emulator hypervisor driver for AMD processors so when I got this one the uh, error went away so I had it here on my video uh, this was happened after installation For is for so, virtual machine still now have uh, installed it and we e4 it's after have, coming back if it's in that's what you see uh, here if it, we go here to our no, oh nexus 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 or pixel 14 or the, we delete here. everything and then we go to create it most in uh, the next Take. now when we have a close look on what happened now is I went to my your virtual devices that's the on my SDK and when I now I deleted all I deleted all my uh, devices which were there so I deleted it and I deleted the, even the last one and as soon as I deleted them, I got um, a new screen. And inside the new screen, watch this point. There came here in the background, that's one. That's what I love. Uh, now there comes a new uh, position which says install uh, the... 
install Android emulator hypervisor driver for AMD processors. And as soon as I've done this one, my system was running again and now I installed it. And after installation, my device was running and as you, you may you may see there's no message anymore which says okay it's not allowed to do so the trick was to uh, delete all devices and after deleting all the de devices I got my machine back uh, and the emulator I could install the emulator and I installed after this a Nexus 5 Nexus 6 emulator uh, with an AMD processor so come back to this one here it is I said okay there's a pixel 4 here's still the message and then I said come on still the message still the message I I think I'm sure that you have the same message here I said uh, this is a Nexus 6 API 25 with the Android 7.1.1 and an, R, an ARM um, processor. And after this, with no other stuff, the machine worked. So because this is the reason therefore is, if you have different uh, smartphones, then the message says, okay, if you use one of those uh, smartphone emulations, there is a message and that's right. So you could uh, solve it by deleting all that stuff and then to uh, add the emulator for, uh, for, the, for your new system. And you will also find it here in settings. So go here, file, settings, appearance, system settings, Android SDK, deactivate this one throw all uh, devices out and then you go there to Android emulation, emulation and that's it.